In this video, I will show you on how to pick and drop item in 3D environment by using mouse click. So first, click on the new project, select 3D and let's rename it to pick up and release. So first, we need to import first person controller from the Unity Asset Store. So go to Unity Asset Store and search for the first person controller. I will go for the free version here. Click add to my assets. You need to log in into your Unity ID for this. And I will just sign in using my Gmail account. So now, open in the Unity editor. Click download then import. After that, close the window. And now I am going to import a house with ready furniture just to make the environment more interesting. But you don't have to because this took some space in your computer. As usual, I will just go for the free asset. Mm, this look good. I will add my first person controller into the scene. Let's position to x equal to 0, y equal to 0, and z equal to 0. And I need to bring this one up because if not, it will fall when we click play button. I think 0.7 will be good enough for now. And we cannot see where is our FPS. So let's enable the mesh renderer and adjust it to be a bit thinner. Okay, now we need to create the object we want to pick up. It can be anything, but for now, we just go for a cube. There are two things you need to make sure to have on the object in order for you to perform this action. First, the collider. In this case, you need a box collider. It depends on the shape of your object you are using. Second, the rigid body. So rigid body will basically be used when you need to use the gravity and when you want to drop the object. So add rigid body component here. Because there is already camera parent under the FPS, so we need to delete the main camera. Let's go to our FPS controller. On our first person character, we need to right click, create empty and then empty object. So let's rename it to destination. The destination game object should be parented under the camera so that the object will follow the FPS even though the character is moving while carrying the object. And why we pull this out in front of our character is that we can see it in front of our eyes. Let's just adjust the position here and of course we can adjust these things later. Next what you need to do is create C sharp script. Now right click here, create C sharp script and let's call this pickup. And then let's open that in Visual Studio. Now let's go to our script, delete void start and void update because we don't need them and let's create our variable. What we need is one single variable that is going to be the object we want to use as a transform. And that transform will be where our object appears. Public transform the dest and the dest is of course for the destination and then what we need to do is uh, Void on mouse down and the inverse of it is void on mouse up we should remove the private and now here we need to turn off the gravity that is within our rigid body we can component rigid body dot use gravity is equal to false so you can see here we are not getting rid of the rigid body but we are just turning the gravity off next what we need to do is change our transform position so this dot transform the position is equal to the dash dot position semicolon and next we need to parent the object by this dot transform dot parent equal to game object dot find destination dot transform and this is the end of our void on mouse down now obviously what we need to do is to do the inverse of it so when the mouse comes up 
we need to make the parent null so that it goes back to its own independent object so this dot transform oh i have made mistake here this should be dot not comma let's continue here so this dot transform dot parent is equal to null then get component rigid body dot use gravity is equal to true so when we drop our object it will go back to the ground so click save head back to the unity oh error let's see oh here save again and let's clear this Now you need to attach this script to every object that would actually require it. Click on add component and attach the pickup script. We need to drag the destination game object over here so that it become the variable for all those objects. So let's try, click play. Maybe we need to adjust the height, maybe need to scale it down again to 0.7 and let's see. I think this would be okay. Now you see, there's clipping and the object is not really stable. So for the clipping, we need to adjust again the position of the destination game object. Now let's try again. Oh, I think it's good. Head back to our script, get component. But collider enabled equal to false. Copy this and as inverse of this, at the end it should be set again to true. Save then go back to Unity. Control D to duplicate the cube and make sure the pickup script is attached to it. And there's still clipping here so you know that you need to adjust the position of the destination and that's very simple. I think that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye!